Blocks CAD Skills Using Loops Part 1 Making a Line of Evenly Spaced Objects Loops in BlocksCAD are useful for making shapes in a repeated pattern. To begin, you'll see we've already set up the blocks, or code, that make three cylinders in a line. These three objects have been translated in the X direction by 0, 10, and 20 millimeters. Because the cylinders are all the same size, the code that renders them is very repetitive. Now imagine that our design requires us to make a line of 20 cylinders, or 100 cylinders. That would be extremely repetitive to code one by one. Fortunately, there is a shorthand way to do this in BlocksCAD, by using loops. To demonstrate, let's clean up our workspace and remove two of the three code blocks by dragging them over to the Blocks menu. Now go to the Loop category and get a Count With block. To make a loop, we need an index variable, which counts how many times the code will be run. Here, the index will count up from 1 to 10 by 1. So the variable i in this case will be 1, then 2, then 3, and 4, etc., until it reaches the final value of 10, at which point it will stop repeating. So what do you think will happen when we put a shape into this block? Because it's a loop, this code will be executed 10 times. The first time it runs, the variable will be equal to 1 and 2 and so on. So let's render and... Where are the 10 cylinders? Well, they're here. But they've all been drawn in exactly the same location right on top of each other. Notice we already have a translate block in this code, but the values are set to 0. Let's change that by using the variable i that gets its value from the count with block above to set how far each cylinder is translated from each other. Put the i variable into the translate block, but before we render, think about just how far each cylinder will be translated. The first time through, the x translate value will be i equals 1 millimeter, then i equals 2 millimeters, and 3, and so on, up to 10. Hit Render, and it's a little hard to see, but the 10 cylinders are all now 1 millimeter apart. To spread them even further apart, we'll need to create an arithmetic expression. So let's drag out an expression block from the Math tab, place our i variable into the first slot, select the multiplication operation, and then we'll place this back into our translate block to help us set how far on the x-axis will translate each cylinder. Now grab a number block from the Math menu tab and place it in the expression block like this. If we want our cylinders to be 10 millimeters apart, we'd need to translate them by 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. So we'll have to multiply our index variable by 10. Hit Render, and now we have 10 cylinders, each drawn with their centers 10 millimeters apart on the x-axis. At this point, it's very easy to modify our loop to produce a different number of cylinders. To make a line that's 20 cylinders long, just change the loop block to count from 1 to 20. To make a line that's 4 cylinders long, just change the loop to 4. It's also easy to change the spacing of the cylinders. In our translate block, we multiplied i by 10 to make the cylinders 10 millimeters apart. We can change that number to change the spacing. Set it to 20, and now the cylinders are 20 millimeters apart. Set it to 5, and the cylinders are 5 millimeters apart. Now you can see how using loops in BlocksCAD can help us make a line of evenly spaced objects, while making it very easy to change the number of objects in the line and the spacing of those objects. You can watch this skills video again, or to practice what you've just learned, launch BlocksCAD and start building.